if you think about perhaps a new order that is placed in the U.S. to a factory in China, well, it might take months before the product is built and delivered to the U.S. where payment comes from. Well, if the currency, if you want, is collapsing, again, then there's trade going on you want, which we know, of course, that doesn't happen between the U.S. and China. But just to put this in perspective, if a currency is collapsing in that relationship, well, then you have an issue of the trading partner is losing money in the trade of, produc of the production of goods and services. And that's not good. That is actually incentive to not trade. And what you'll see around the Asian area is people trading with China and Japan in their currencies are going to have a less desire to continue that relationship.